Hey guys, I'm WWE UK star and member of the band Junior, Mark Andrews, and you are watching Morgan Richards Interviews. Make sure you like and subscribe. Here I'm Morgan Richards from Radio Cardiff, and I'm very pleased to say that I'm joined now by a man who's high-fived and stage-dived his way across the globe, defending both indie wrestling and pop-punk music. It's, of course, WWE's wonderful Mark Andrews of Junior. How's it going, man? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, man, you okay? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, feeling real good. Yeah? How's things? Yeah, real good. Uh, we just got finished with the weekend in Blackpool for the UK Championships. Mm. It was an amazing weekend. Uh, and I, I kind of, I'm still buzzed from it to be honest, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm still psyched at how great that weekend was. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so Mark, as you said, I can only imagine it's being just the most surreal times for you personally, putting on an impressive performance as an official WWE superstar now at the United Kingdom Championship Tournament. After already making a name for yourself overseas and independently inside the squared circle, it must have just felt like a dream showcasing everything you've learned over the last decade on the biggest stage of the ball and the biggest company in sports entertainment. Yeah, it's crazy actually, you know, because as you said, uh, you kept referring to me as a WWE superstar, and that's mad to me in itself, you know. I. I still uh, I'm kind of struggling to, to accept that which is <laughs> in, a, in a good way it's just you know that's what you dream of ever since you watched wrestling when you were a kid for the last 12 years of training uh, from traveling the world this is the, the holy land of professional wrestling and it's I mean inc I'm incredibly proud to be a part of the WWE especially at a time where they are so firmly trying to represent the UK scene which I've been a part of as if for the last 12 mm. years yeah, well, fantastic. And throughout the tournament, you were really featured heavily and received a lot of praise from the likes of Eric Young, Corey Graves, and so many of your favorite bands on Twitter. But with that, what's really next for you now with the WWE? When they got in touch initially, was there any ideas, the plans, or details for you going forward now, or...? Well, yeah, you know what? When they when they first got in touch to us, uh, we were with us with me, you know, Pete, Tyler, a lot of my friends who were involved in the tournament as well. They they said to us they were pretty open. They said we're not sure what this is, this is going to be. They said we just want to you know highlight you guys and we want to show the world how great British wrestling is. And that's what they did. So I'll be honest, uh, the sky's the limit from here on. You know, people say never say never in pro wrestling, mm -hmm. and it's a big time to say that right now, especially for the UK because we're not exactly sure what this is going to become. But I'm very confident in that it will become something big because if last weekend was an example of how great the UK scene is, you know, then I think the WWE will definitely want to, or at least hope to, make that into a regular thing, potentially uh, a show that could be that could be produced here in the UK, you know, like a weekly show, or even if it was monthly tapings, I'm excited for whatever it's gonna become. Uh, and yeah, I'm just still psyched to be involved with it all. Yeah, well, fantastic. So at the moment for you, is it just continuing with the work and commitments with the indie promotions, like Attack and Progress, and then just see what happens with the WWE forefront? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, um, we're in quite a special circumstance where uh, right now we're still we're still working the indies. Um, and as I said, like Attack Pro Wrestling is the company that I help run, and I definitely have no plans to stop helping running that place anytime soon. So it's great. It's almost a sweet spot where you know we get to be on the biggest platform of them all with the WWE, and we also still get to have our enjoyment on the indies uh, and with other things like like the band as you mentioned. Uh, you know, it's. Um, I, I still get to be going on tour with my band yeah. um, and, and I mean right now is a dream you know, right now is what I've worked for for the last 12 years essentially I can wrestle in the indies recently wrestle for WWE and still be on tour with my band it's, I couldn't ask for more and I hope that it can stay this way or at least just keep improving uh, in the near future as well and while we mentioned the tournament of course halfway through you got to have a match with your good and long time friend Pete Dunn who you've really held all your career with having your first match Within what was twelve years ago, yeah. for you was that quite surreal? Being able to not only have matches with him all around the world, but finally get to have that in the WWE now and see your good mate like Tyler win the title for himself. Yeah, that was uh, you know talking about me and Pete. That was a big uh, box to tick off the list. You know, mm. that was we've we've wrestled each other in in loads of countries around Europe, loads of states across America. We spent the last you know, 10 to 12 years learning from each other and learning with each other you know, on the wrestling scene. Uh, so to be able to actually have a match with him on the biggest stage of them all essentially is, 
it was incredible and I remember being there quite nervous going into that match even though we wrestled each other millions of times you know we wrestled each other so many times um, yeah I still was a bit nervous going into it because that was as I said the holy grail that was yeah. the holy land um, and we got to do it on a WWE program we were doing a WWE ring and to see guys like Tyler who he's so young you know, he's 19 years old and he spent the last yeah, let's say five or six years I think it's been tr- he's been wrestling now and learning from guys like, like Pete like Trent like myself I hope in some ways to see him succeed and to, to you know prove to the world how great of a wrestler he is is amazing and it just goes to show how big and how in depth the talent pool in the UK is because I mean he's 19 years old you wouldn't find someone that good at 19 anywhere else in the world but in the UK you can find guys like that yeah of course and while we're talking about wrestling promotions of course prior to the tournament even being announced you told TNA wouldn't be signing a contract extension with them once you saw it out at the end of 2016 um of course in that time you spent the whole boot camp program and became a recent impact regular for the company as well when you look back would you say that was a perfect jump you needed to get into where you are now having that experience for a major televised company yeah definitely yeah i was really really grateful for the experience that i got in tna um and i really enjoyed my time working there as well you know i had two long years there um i love the roster there i love the staff a real great time working there and uh, when I left it wasn't uh, because I had a choice out of you know, them or WWE or anything like that I left with no hard feelings and I left with no real plans to be honest it's just that the UK scene was so booming that I figured you know I'm still young I'm 24 I want to try and get as much experience as possible and I'd experienced TNA and I was just trying to wait for whatever came around next uh, fortunately for me it was WWE and as I said now I can you know start a new chapter in my wrestling career getting experience with them but as I said, that uh, that time I spent in TNA gave me a lot of experience, and I, I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. I, you know, I learned a lot from being there, and I think that really helped me going into this UK tournament. Hmm. Okay, and away from the squared circle, of course, you love spending your time making sweet pop punk anthems with your band Junior. That's all about having fun. I know you've had some massive and sweet announcements to come throughout the rest of 2017 that you can't mention yet but you will be heading into the studio at the end of the month to record some even new material. What's really some of the ideas coming out of Junior Land with all that at the moment? Yeah, I'm really excited for what we're about to show you guys with Junior. Um, we've got loads of cool ideas. We got, we got, as you said, we're in the studio at the end of the month. We've got a new release coming out in March. Uh, it's it's going to be a big year for us, I think. I think not only uh, is pop punk starting to notice us a bit more the pop punk scene in the UK and hopefully in the world but also the wrestling fans are starting to really get behind the band too it, it helps having my entrance music in the WWE and my old entrance music in TNA being both songs from Junior and I just you know we're really working hard behind the scenes and we're almost at the point now where we can start showing the world what we've been working hard on so I'm really looking forward to 2017 this is definitely going to be our biggest year yet mm-hmm. hopefully we can announce some big shows and some big tours in the next few months and it's just it's going to be a huge I'm, I'm excited you know it's going to, I'm excited for a huge year and just to hang out with Matt and Sai and get on the road and just to, to be on it as much as possible you know what I mean this is this is the life I had a dream of when I was when I was a kid you know to have a band and to tour with a band and to wrestle <laughs> at the same time so I'm really enjoying juggling the two at the moment and I'm going to continue to juggle them and hopefully they'll both keep growing with each other yeah well perfect and it's safe to say over the last year junior have taken to new heights consistently touring when you can and playing with countless of bands you've dreamt about supporting is it quite humbling for you personally that both your crafts and passions seem to be growing so well simultaneously just as something big happens for you in the ring something bigger comes along for the band and never really having to prioritize one more than the other yeah definitely yeah that's actually um like you know that, that's bang on there actually because it's it you know some people ask me like how do you manage a juggler two and it's it, it seems like it should be harder than it is and don't get me wrong there's sacrifices you have to make i remember um you know, we got booked to support the Wonder Years at the same time that I had a potential booking overseas and it was a hard one to choose but I thought well you know this is a bigger opportunity for the band than the wrestling opportunity was for wrestling you know and wrestling has been my first priority for years but to see how well that affects the band and how well performing with the band also affects my performances in wrestling it, it kind of proves to me that I do need to keep juggling them and I do need to think with every different situation which I prioritise because different opportunities offer different things and it's as I said you know that they work side by side so well that 
it's not necessarily choosing one over the other it's just choosing which is the best opportunity all round um, but at the, at the moment is if I, I couldn't feel better about how well they're gelling together and how people are kind of accepting the one with the other mm, yeah and it must be great when you can combine the two together like with your recent single four to pieces having sean smith for the blackout feature on the track and then having a cameo from matt hardy in the video as well yeah definitely that was great that was really really cool because as you know from a music and uh, wrestling perspective mm. like it was really really cool for matt to do that cameo and sean as well i know sean's a, a big wrestling fan i've met him from him coming to the attack pro wrestling shows that i run and yeah, he's the man, and he was he was psyched to be on the record. He was perfect for for the slot as well. You know what I mean? Just uh, we we're all big fans of the Blackout, and it was cool for us personally to have him on the record. And yeah, to have Matt Hardy on it as well was just it was awesome. It all just seemed to work out really well. And uh, obviously, my contacts with the wrestling uh, greatly benefit pulling off a video like that because you know getting the ring, getting the guys in to, to do the video, but. It all just seemed to work out really well, you know, and um, I remember Matt Hardy saying to me afterwards, he thought it was a really catchy song, and he said, oh, I didn't know your band was that good, and that was, it was cool that he could recognise that, um, which he might not have known going into it, he was just doing me a solid, he was, you know, doing me a favour, so it was really, really cool that he appreciated, you know, what I was trying to do outside of wrestling, with music, and what the band was doing, um, and yeah, I still love that video, I think it's amazing, <laughs> if I say so myself, you know. Of course. And uh, Mark, with all that now, as you mentioned, 2017 looks like it's just going to be endless possibilities for both you and the band now. But what else can we really expect from everything going forward? Do you know what? Uh, every year I normally have like a to-do list or a kind of you know goals to achieve each year. And this year is the first in, in ages where I kind of haven't really had a solid idea of what I want to achieve because it just seems like the sky's the limit you know and that sounds really cheesy and really corny but genuinely it seems like the sky's the limit at the moment I I didn't think I'd, we'd be able to pull all this off both in the band and with my wrestling at this point in my life and my career so for this to have already happened I'm almost uh, speechless as to, to say what will come next you know um, I can just hope that it'll at the very least maintain and I do plan for it all to improve you know I am I, I, I plan to do bigger shows hopefully with the WWE I, I, I hope to do bigger shows with the band as well and you know slowly just keep taking over the world yeah. <laughs> and this is the start of it in 2017 oh, well perfect well uh, that's about it cheers Mark for taking time out to have a quick chat with me no thank you buddy thanks for having me on the show no no worries best luck now with everything else and hopefully I'll catch with you guys again very soon yeah cheers buddy yeah thanks right, cheers